All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get busy, all right? So, uh, something came in yesterday, and um, hopefully, yeah, let's get to work. I'll show you what came in. Uh, yeah, so my wiring specialties connectors came in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, open it up, and I guess do a little unboxing of how it is, and um, yeah, we'll get, we'll get busy with these the the soldering iron and some solder oh by the way i got my crocs on so uh you know we're gonna get busy we're gonna get we're gonna put in some work let's go see if i can get this gimbal to show the box oh that's it Push this to the side a little bit. Go ahead and cut this tape open. Oh, drop the blade. Can I have that now? So, oh, damn. Got a little sticker. Showing an SR20, even though I don't got one, but um, you know, gives me some motivation. Check it out, nicely wrapped. Got my um, ignition coil connector, my distributor connector, and uh, some connectors. Hopefully, when my JDM signal lights come in. And yeah, we'll go ahead and um, open up the hood for the 240, which is right here, and then uh, we'll get to work. I need my tripod to come in. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in the new ignition switch also as well uh, eventually when I'm done soldering because I want to take care of the soldering first I'm not very good at it so it's good practice I got my laundry hanging damn put this gimbal down first So yeah, in the last video, remember I said those pins? There's those pins, so I'm gonna take those out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hit up this time lapse. Right, so I got the ignition coil done now I'm gonna do the distributor uh, connector itself I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach I'm gonna do well I kind of was doing that earlier but I'm gonna do it one by one so I don't fuck up the order and um, yeah and then we'll connect it
right, so finished soldering the new connector, new connectors to the harness. And um, yeah, I'll clean it up, but um, I don't want to do that until I actually try to start the car. Not hoping for a perfect start. I'm hoping for a one shot, one fire and it to keep running. But um, yeah, it's kind of gloomy right now. It's freaking raining. Guam's weather is pretty crazy. So um, yeah, I guess I'll take a little bit of a water break. And um, yeah, I'll get back at it and I'll record it and hopefully Hopefully she fires one shot or one, you know, first time. And if not, then I at least ruled out the connectors because now I know for a fact it should be making good contact with the distributor and the ignition coil. And I'm gonna work from there. So is the verdict of my spark plugs. I don't really see any oil contamination. Just uh, a lot of running rich. Um, Probably because the bad connection for the ignition coil to spark. But luckily, I got had an extra set of uh, iridiums. These are actually not the iridiums, these because these are my spare set of BQR 6Es, which I've had in my box. And because I was trying to figure out the spark issue, I kept rotating spark plugs. So, um, I've got the iridiums back in, the BKR7E iridiums, and um, yeah, well, hopefully it runs better. So the verdict on the um, putting on the the new connectors for Martin Spuster T's, it was it was good. Did a test drive, uh, as you can see in that that video from my GoPro. However, um, I did a little bit of a longer test drive after that. I don't want to record the whole test drive, but the car did hiccup and die out twice on a pretty pretty decent drive. And but yeah, it drove all right, I guess. Other than that, it started up right away after it did die out, and then I drove the work, drove the work, drove the car to work yesterday, and it did die out also. But it started back up this morning. Decided to try to take it to work today, just for shits and googles, I guess. Maybe another test, and we're back to square one. And it's all right, I guess, because now we ruled out the, the the connectors and the pins. So I gotta do some more checking. Maybe the distributor I got from Rock Auto was bad. I, I, I really don't know. It's hard to tell. People have been telling me that um, they had experience with distributors from Rock Auto and it wasn't good. And maybe I'm starting to believe them. They're saying OEM's better, even though OEM is either one more expensive or two really old. 
so and then like I got some uh, I guess advice from another another friend who's saying maybe it's my grounds but we'll do more checking and um, yeah we'll see we'll see what happens there but other than that still got old reliable right here and shit at least I can still go to work that's what matters right now and yeah so we're gonna end this video on to the next one thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing if you did. If you didn't, subscribe would really help. Really help the channel and it would help me to, I guess, do more videos. All right, stay safe. Rock on.